Bridging the technological divide between female and male programmers within the technological ecosystem here in Sierra Leone is why Django Girls was birthed. What is Django Girls? Django Girls is a community of female programmers here in Sierra Leone using Python to create applications, websites, and all of that good stuff. Okay, so today we're thrilled to come to you and present Tech Talk. Tech Talk is our YouTube series that we'll be bringing to you guys to interact with you and bring our community digital. So any girl looking to learn programming and looking to explore the technological world, this is a good place to start. Limco Queen University is a very amazing place and within it we have the Limco Queen Innovation Hub from which we have Django Girls. Django Girls is a community. Who are the members of this community? Well, today we have an amazing set of young ladies who are doing so well in terms of programming and evolving so beautifully. I am one of those ladies, I'm Kumasha Lewis, a final year student at Limco Queen University and I want to be a game developer. Hi, hello. My name is Hara Kalon. I'm a final year student here at Limco Queen University studying software engineering with multimedia. So my goal is to become a full stack web developer and also a game developer. Hello everyone, my name is Good Conte. I'm a second year student and I would like to become a full stack developer. Hi, my name is Janice Cole. I'm a second year student and studying software engineering and multimedia. I'd love to become a game developer. My name is Mariam Siyabari, studying software engineering and I'm also part of the Jungle Girls, soon to be a software developer. Hi, my name is Madia Smith. I'm a third year student studying information technology and I want to be a software developer. Okay, so welcome ladies. Um, my very first question, who are your inspirations and role models? Because in the text space, you know, you need people to inspire you. So who has inspired you? Um, to be honest, I don't particularly have a role model. I got into programming into tech by research. I was a bit confused after my WAS exam. So I had to do research. I had to see where the world was heading into. And the world was heading into technology. It was heading into programming. So I was like, I'll give it a try. So then I got into programming. I got amazing lecturers who helped me to go. And as of now, I can say I'm proud that I could build a website and yeah. as it's a functioning one. So yeah, I think that's my journey. I don't think it's necessary that you have a role model per se. You just need some people who will help you by through the journey and all. So you had it from Hawa, okay? Do your research. If you're coming from what's it called high school and you're struggling to figure out, you know, what do I want to do? Go on Google. You live in the digital age. Okay, so my next question, um, I'm going to ask Ruth. Um, what has been your favorite project so far that you've worked on? Well, that's a nice question. The project I'm working on presently is Clean Salon. Well, no, I think there has been a way to improve the that's in Sierra Leone. So this website here I'm building will help to educate individuals how to go about this that in Sierra Leone without using the Masada and any sort of means. Wherein we have to upload videos, how to go about it, how do people gather the dirt and the waste bins in Sierra Leone, how they do everything, ways and things you shouldn't do and also hygiene. Wow, that's really interesting. Um, have you had any challenges so far? Well, yes. I have one challenge that I'm facing. I'm trying to link this website like Instagram, Facebook, so that when you, you press the link, it will get you to another page. But it's something I'm struggling to do. But again, I'm still persisting and I'm hopefully, I know we will, I will get there soon. Yeah. So if you're looking to figure out how Ruth here figures out how to solve this issue, then stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you want to see, okay? So on the topic of challenges, I know programming is very, very challenging in itself, yeah? Um, Siri, what has been a big struggle or a big challenge that you face as a programmer? So basically, how I overcome obstacles, mm -hmm. I work on myself and try to focus more on what I want, what impact I want to do out there. Yeah. So, I will just say, for example, Django Girls, it built my confidence. Try to, you know, sometimes where we're in the lab, we just try to create fun, trying to be there for each other. Right. So, yeah, so <laughs> I'm always, I'm always confident about myself. Yeah, that's the main challenge I have. True. 
Um, so you heard it from Siri, believe in yourself and just start working on those projects, okay? Regardless of who is bullying you or making you feel like you don't deserve to be there. Just start working and you see how much value you create. Moving on, moving forward, when it comes to learning and growth, there's so much that has to be done when it, with technology because it's constantly evolving. There was C++, now there's Python, and we're currently working with Python, yeah? So Janice, how do you stay updated with the te technological trends? And you know, how do you do it as a programmer? So basically, um, I'm using Mozilla, which is a basic document documentation mm -hmm. of GitHub. Yeah. And it keeps me updated about the new things that are posted and also with Stack Overflow, wherein the different pro programmers having um, their problems. Like it helps you understand, like it helps because there's some things that you're facing, maybe the same issue or the same problem, like they help you to get what you want. Nice. So you've gotten the juice from Janice, okay? If you want to get started, there's so many online resources that you can use, GitHub and whatever you can find online. Speaking of communities, online communities, physical communities, um, Madia, um, how relevant do you think these programming communities are and how have they served you? Um, in terms of community, like being in the tech world, it's very important because you learn from people, learn yeah share ideas, learn from others and also basically for me, I would say the jungle girls because being introduced into this jungle world, this jungle girls, you guys have helped me a lot and I have learned so much interacting, learning from Hawa, Tomasha, like my best friend here, John. Aww. <laughs> See, Ray, it's really important and it helps you to learn a lot and it helps you build up your confidence how you interact with people, how you go to understand things. So yeah, that's it's a very relevant and important thing to do being part of a community. That's good. Here's to the Jungle Girls community. It feels so good that we have a community like this, that you know we could bond and learn at the same time and all of that. So as independent young generation people, we don't only learn, we also work. So I have a question for you again. Um, what is it like to balance work and learning, especially learning programming that takes so much time? So yeah, um, it's a bit difficult navigating between work and programming because it takes a lot of time, especially debugging. But with dedication and all, you, it can make happen. But realistically, you have to make, um, you have to prioritize things. So what I do normally is I look for which one has the, the shortest day to, to accomplish. And then I, I try to work towards that. So if, for example, my work has like one week to submit something and I have a programming deadline to submit in eight days or so, I try to work, I try to do my work for like eight hours and then navigate the rest for program because programming takes a lot of time, even if it's a short work. So you just have sure. to dedicate and sacrifice a lot. You have to sacrifice going out, you have to sacrifice doing a lot of things just to get your code running. Mm -hmm. So it takes a lot of dedication, but that should not be a disappointment to us girls. We want to do it, like we want to go into this male dominated world. So yeah. we have to sacrifice a lot. There's a sacrifice to make, but eventually it'll be worth it. Um, moving on, let's get into the programming aspects of this, okay? So Smith, what is your favorite programming language? Of course, everyone has a favorite programming language. And for me, it's Python. Mm. Why? Because it's easy to understand and it's beginner friendly. And it's also an English like. Right. Yeah. So that's why I choose Python. Okay, moving forward. Siri, what advice would you give to someone who is just starting out as a programmer? Well, my advice to young developers, uh, female developers, I would say you should know how to face your challenges and to embark. I would just say just start with small projects, you know, yeah. and try to surround yourself with mentors who are um, supportive, supportive um, mentors who, or guardian yeah. and try to be, um, believe in your abilities, try to enjoy and journey and focus on the journey and enjoy that's it wonderful so 
Start small, have mentors, okay? There are people who have been here before who can guide you and help you with those products. Okay, so now future trends. We know the world is evolving, especially the technological world. What would you say on future trends, Awa? I'm excited about integrating AI and machine language into programming, basically. <laughs> because it has the advantages. As we can see for ChatGPT, we know how that has yeah. worked out. So then, so we're trying to increment AI more into our website. It's like, it will be amazing, you get? Yeah. Like it will be, it will take programming to the next level. It will help us so much. We could do so much. That will be unlimited basically with AI, who are not replacing us by the way, but still. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm excited to learn about it, to increment more because I know there's more I can do with it, so I can't wait for that to so become a trend, basically. Here's to AI, ChatGPT, most especially. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> um, okay, so we've come to the a close of this amazing, amazing session, and I'm really happy you guys have followed us through to the end. So, very quickly, we have one rapid fire question, and we're throwing it to Ruth. Ruth. What do you use to comment your codes or statements in Python? Well, we comment using hash. Okay, we've had Ruth's answer. If you believe she's correct, comment down correct below in the comment section. If you feel she's wrong, comment down wrong, okay? Um, so we've come to the end of this beautiful episode. We are excited for so many things to come and it's been amazing having you beautiful ladies on here. Um, if you want to know what the next episode will be on, comment down below, okay? And subscribe to the channel. This is Tech Talk. Let's discuss technology. <laughs> Welcome to the Limco Queen Innovation Hub, where creativity meets technology. At the Limco Queen Innovation Hub, we provide a collaborative platform between government, academia, and industry to support the innovation and entrepreneurship ecosystem in Sierra Leone. Our state-of-the-art facilities are designed to inspire creativity and encourage out-of-the-box thinking. As part of our corporate innovation services, we work with our in-house experts to offer solutions in software development, audio-visual production, product design and development, research and development, branding and packaging design, architectural design and visualization, business development and consulting. We welcome partnerships with like-minded organizations to collaborate on designing and implementing projects that would promote the socio-economic landscape of Sierra Leone. The Innovation Hub has been a game changer for me. It has given me the opportunity to partake in several pitch night competitions and develop the entrepreneurship skills I need to succeed in the real world. For further inquiries, contact us on 076-838-435 or visit our office at the Limco Queen University, number 51 Regent Road, Hill Station, Freetown. Join the Limco Queen Innovation Hub community today and turn your ideas into reality. Limco Queen Innovation Hub.